Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm coming back at you for an album review for Linkin Park, One More Light. Now this was their last album they did last year because of Chester Bennington's death last year. And I think it still touches us at times. It's just, you know, depression's a bitch. That's all I can say. <laughs> uh, but... I'm going to go through these tracks and let you know my thoughts on each one. Track number one, Nobody Can Save Me. Now this one was, yeah, it was like a happy feel kind of song and had a little positive energy in it, but it wasn't a bad song. I'm giving this a 4.5 out of 5 because uh, for me it helps me encourage my depression it drives it away and makes it much better it, like cures it a little bit but to the point where I'm fighting that good fight so uh, nobody can save me is gonna get a 4.5 out of 5 um, track number two good goodbye featuring push T and Stormzy this one was well, it wasn't too bad. It's gonna get a four out of five. It's a decent track. Um, yeah, there's yeah the pop sound they went for in this record kind of threw a lot of people off last year and all that. But it wasn't as bad. I don't think it's a bad record. It's just you got to get in the groove of this album and feel the flow. That's kind of what they were going for just to bring positive energy in this album and that's not a bad thing so track number two good goodbye is gonna get a four out of five because it was decent track number three talking to myself that was a good one like everyone feels like they're talking to themselves or at times but Honestly, for me, it helps me cope. <laughs> uh, it sounds crazy and all, but it helps me cope with what I go through. And for the song itself, I actually like the lyrics. I like the melody. The guitars in it are good, and the drums are pretty good, too. They did an excellent job with this, so I'm giving it a 5 out of 5. Track number three, Battle Symphony. Now I love this song. I don't care what anyone says, this song is my favorite on this record. One of my favorites. I'm giving this a five out of five because I felt it brought enough energy to make me feel better about myself that way. And because I'm putting on my armor and uh, fusing it back together it's kind of that way <laughs> so 5 out of 5 for this one track number 5 invisible this one's going to get a 4.5 out of 5 the melodies are fine just the flow of the songs good it's a solid track it's just yeah it's not their per se best track but it's solid. I don't want to sound like I'm upsetting Linkin Park fans. I'm just giving my honest opinions and trying to be nice about it. So, yeah. Track number six, Heavy. This one's pretty deep. I don't really like this song. I'm going to say it. I don't like this song, but I like the message behind it. That's all I can tell you. The message is about someone who's fighting with their demons and feeling like they are holding on to something heavy. So it feels like there's a big weight on your shoulders that you can't let go. And I understand. It's not easy. It's what us basic human beings go through, unfortunately. I don't want to sound like I'm messed up or anything I just am explaining my side of uh, what I think about this song 
uh, my opinion about what I think. And this song is not good. I'm sorry to everyone that's going to say it. I just don't like this song. Track numbers, and it's gonna, this song's going to get a 2 out of 5. Track number 7, uh, sorry for now. Okay, this one's not too bad. I'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of 5, because it was okay. It was, like, above average. So it didn't do too bad. Just to lift you guys' hopes up about what I think of this record. I don't want to sound like I'm being depressing or anything with this review. <laughs> it's just... It's hard for me to listen to this album. Like, really hard for me to listen to this record. And... Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give Sorry for now a 3.5 out of 5 because at least it was an improvement. Track number 8, uh, Halfway Right. Mm, I actually did enjoy it, but yeah, it's an okay track. I'd give this a 3.5 out of 5 because it's entertaining and it does bring a lot of positive energy. It's that positive energy kind of album so if you hear it you just are gonna feel good about yourself listening to one more light so it's definitely worth the listen and this song is about uh how we didn't slow down in life and we need to take it slow at times and feeling like you woke up driving your car mostly <laughs> like you forgot where you were. I've had those I've had those feelings at times, but not in that kind of way. I don't want to say why. I just a situation I've been in where I felt like I woke up and I couldn't remember <laughs> what I did. <laughs> it felt weird. <laughs> but also it was a relief because I'm an overthinker and it puts a lot of stress on my body. So, yeah. Track number nine, One More Light. This one was sad. It was a sad song. And, uh, but it was a good song. I'm giving this a five out of five because it brings a lot of hope to the story. Like, it feels like your light's going out, but it's really not. You just gotta believe that things can get better. And they really do. You just gotta have faith. You just gotta hold on to that feeling and not be hopeless about anything. Because if you stay in that same rut, it's just gonna make it worse and worse. And I've stayed in that rut so many times where I've had to replay the whole symphony again. And it sucks. So, 5 out of 5 for One More Light. It was a good uplifting song. My, the final track, Sharp Edges. I think this one I love more. Because I feel like I can relate to s certain things about this song. Where we all fall down, we live somehow. Even what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Kind of that message is what I like to go by. That song really helps me cope with what I am fighting with. And it's brought me a lot of uh, clarity to understand that I'm going to be alright. Uh, still going through my recovery process, but I'm getting better. Uh, Sharp Edges is getting a 10 out of 10. I'm at 5 out of 5. Why am I saying 10? <laughs> Uh, I'm so used to rating albums more than rating tracks, <laughs> so my apologies on that. Uh, I'm giving this a f 5 out of 5. I actually like this song. And that is going to be the end of this album review. Um, I'm giving this album a 6.5 out of 10. Sure, there are a lot of positive feels about this album, but is it as bad as everyone thinks it is certain songs are 
not every song. Just, you gotta, it's how you perceive it. That is, when you look at it in a negative way, you're gonna get a negative response. If you look at it positively negative, it makes it a little better, but also can cause problems. But if you look at it positive, positive, and listen to some positive music, you can come to really like this album. And I do like this album, I just, there are some things in it that weren't the best choice in uh, how they were approaching their songs, but they didn't do an awful album. It just, I felt it was short, and they could have improved a little more with their songs, but I get why they wanted to do this record. It's fine, so... Hopefully they can really come back at album number 8 with some good stuff. If they go back to the rock sound, then I'll be like, okay, thank you. But if they go pop, please make better pop songs. So comment below, let me know what you think of this. I don't want to say I'm being hurtful to Linkin Park. I'm just saying that this album is not their best. I don't want to put them down. I just want to inspire them to keep doing what they're doing when at their own time so comment below let me know what you think of this uh, video or whatever and I apologize to every Linkin Park fan I'm probably hurting just this these are my opinions and this is how I feel about it you don't have to take it to heart just if you do don't let it upset your day so Go ahead and listen to the record if you want to again. <laughs> I might. <laughs> uh, but anywho, I'm going to come back at you sometime. Hopefully I can find the Hailstorm and Daughtry new tracks for their new albums. For the new albums or whatever and do reviews on that tonight or tomorrow. Mostly tomorrow for that. And I'll be back for the Ice Nine Kills track review sometime today for two of their new tracks and i'll see you in my next video take care